The game is the $40,000 Chain Reaction. And here's your host, Jeff Edwards. All righty, Rod, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome to the $40,000 Chain Reaction. The game where one word leads to another, and the right word is going to lead, guaranteed, for somebody to $40,000. And we're just about uh, less than two weeks away from that $40,000 competition. Uh, a couple of players yet to win $7,500 first, and one of them's going to win it today. That's right, and our first contestant coming back is now going to be able to say to her students, <laughs> uh, Karen. Oh, Karen. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't do that. Welcome. Nice to have you back on the show. And uh, our other finalist is? Well, our other finalist, of course, played just uh, the last time around and uh, won her game yesterday, Linda. Well, she sure did. Hi, Linda. Hi. How you doing? Not too bad. I hope that the softball team that uh, you coach, your daughter's softball team, is watching the coach. Oh, I have maybe some of them. <laughs> yeah, I they are cheering you on. Okay, you're a real good player. And, of course, you are too, Karen, or you wouldn't be here. Uh, you, you, you beat some real good players and. Here you are, ready to go for it, right? Mm -hmm, right. Seven, you talked to your husband about the 7500 about his plans for it? Uh, not really, no, but yeah. I'm sure he's going to be making this. Hard making to keep them. this from him, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. We well, wish you both good luck and uh, see what happens as we go along. Remember, you're playing for $7,500. Okay, first chain of the day. It's going to start with revered. It ends with nonsense. Each word's worth 10 points. Final word in this chain is 15 points. You get 500 points, and you get $7,500. Linda, you start us off, please. I'll pick a letter over nonsense. Over nonsense. A U. Oh, unknown. Mm, no. Uh, Karen. I'll take a letter above nonsense. Okay. A T. Utter. Yeah, something's complete nonsense. It's utter nonsense, right? Give a letter under revered. Under revered. It's an H, Linda. Hush. Could be, but I don't think so. Uh, Karen. I'll take a letter under revered. An o. Holy. Something that's revered could well be holy. Right you are. Now what? I'll give a letter above utter. Above utter. It's an S. Say? Yeah, mm, I guess no. Uh, Karen? I'll take a letter above utter. This time to P. Speak? Speak. No. Oh, yeah, okay. Present tense and past tense, uh, we give you. I'll give a letter above spoke. Above spoke is a W, isn't it? Wooden? Mm, could have a wooden spoke. Uh, that doesn't fit our chain, though. Going back to Karen. I'll take a letter above spoke. Second letter coming up is an H. A wheel? A wheel would have a spoke. Right you are. Well, you're doing great on this chain. One place to go. It's worth 15 points. Goes with holy and wheel. And uh, you have control, Karen. I'll give a letter below holy. Got to grab some points if you can, Linda. It's an R. Roller? A holy roller. Well... <laughs> right you are. That was a good guess. Let's take a look at uh, the chain. Uh, something that is revered could well...